Hello lovelies! <laughs> so you're here because you wanted to watch me edit this picture from start to finish. It is super duper easy. I'm just using my Rouge uh, Collection Action Set. So let's get started. Um, so I like to start off with smoothing the skin, um, taking care of some skin stuff, and I'm just starting out with my smooth skin action. Just press play. It does all the work for you. All you have to do is just get your uh, brush and it tells you, you know, um, what sort of brush you need to use. Just kind of brush on some of this um, smooth skin on top of her, but don't overdo it or else it won't look uh, realistic. <laughs> um, but I'm just kind of getting around her face right here, just kind of touching up just a little. Um, again, not overdoing it. Um, just kind of getting her eyes. That's the main part I want to take care of is, is just right around the eyes. But I do also want to kind of tweak around the arms. Um, not too crazy. I don't really touch the hands that much. Just the arms a little bit. Um, I'm going to do over here on her chest, on her neck. Just kind of smooth that out just a tad. Um, and then let's go down to her legs. Um, after we fix this little part and it, we're almost done with this. I mean it is so quick, so simple, but again the key is just to subtly um, do it. Don't do too much at one time or else it just really won't look super realistic. So uh, I like how that looks. I'm going to kind of hide the layer and bring it back so we can see what it does. I do that often. <laughs> uh, let's do brighten the skin. I want to um, brighten up under her eyes a little bit around her nose and uh, just some small areas around her face again pretty subtle if you were to go in with a really harsh um, high opacity brush it would look super uh, fake and it would really show that you edited the crap out of your picture <laughs> um, so just kind of taking care of a few small spots and um, if you happen to kind of overdo it a little bit in some areas, um, you know, you can always lower your opacity on the layer or you could go in with a different color, the, a black brush, and kind of erase what you had already done. So Sparkle Eyes is one of my favorites. It just adds a little bit of a uh, pop to the eyes and I don't always just use it on the eyes. I like to use it on the eyebrows and the lips. It really brings them to life, as you can see, and uh, I kind of went overboard on the side of her lip just a little, so um, I'm going to go back and, yeah, I'm going to go back and I'm going to um, take care of a little bit of the outer edge of her lip, uh, just kind of erase a little bit of what I've done. I don't want it to look too, like, white on the outside. It kind of looked obvious to me that I had touched them up. Oh, there we go. That's a lot better. Alright, so now that I've taken care of her face and her skin, I'm pretty happy with that. There's the before and the after. Again, subtle differences, but it makes um, a pretty drastic change in the picture. Alright, so here we go. We're going to do Wham Bam. This is also one of my favorites. Okay, so when it runs, it really brings a huge dramatic difference to your picture and often it's overboard it's too much so what I do is just kind of scale it back a good bit wham bam is really good for pictures that um, didn't have a lot of contrast to begin with so I like to go in and just kind of look at the individual layers I'm gonna take some down a notch to uh, just make it not so like bam in your face I'm super uh, contrasted <laughs> um, but yeah just kind of look at it as you go and, and tweak it here and there. I go back often and change things up. Um, so I'm going to adjust the whole uh, whole action here as a whole and bring it down. But you see that, I mean, that's a big difference right there. And you didn't do hardly anything. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go and let's add some fun colors and whatnot. Let's see. Alright, this one is um, 
cozy fall but you don't have to use it just for fall shots <laughs> it adds a really nice warm sort of um, feel to your picture uh, all right so we're gonna do pine pine has a nice like green under layer and it's, it's pretty neutral it gives you a nice pop um, without adding too much color and then old rustic is has sort of a rusty feel to it it's got the browns and the deep reds laughter uh, let's see I'm gonna lower this a good bit um, laughter is kind of in your face sometimes it's perfect to really overdo it and sometimes you want to really bring it down a good bit so there is uh, the beginning and there's what we have so far um, it's all gonna come together in the end uh, I like to do some of these other actions like muddy um, again bring it down a good bit it just kind of helps um, soften the picture up a little bit and late I really love late uh, when it runs and, and you know it's at its full opacity it adds a really nice like evening night kind of effect to the picture but I like to use it just adds a little bit of a dark cool tone to it if I want to kind of scale back some of my warmth and some of my brightness um, all right and wheat is a good neutral um, softness to add as well so there we go that I like what we've got so far um, I think that looks pretty good and uh, I'm just gonna kinda check a few things just to make sure I like where they're at uh, like I said earlier I like to go back and um, tweak the opacity often just until I have it where I like it you know I'm, I'm bad about that <laughs> I, uh, I don't know I want to see how it looks a little cooler but I think I like it warmer so I'm gonna I'm not gonna use cool it down I had added some warm it up earlier when I first started and uh, I was pretty happy with it but yeah I, I like I like the warmth to it um, let's see here I want to add all right so I have two different kinds of vignettes here you've got brush on vignette and auto vignette auto just kind of tackles all four corners of the picture but brush on vignette is great because you have the control um, over you know what you add this darkening to and I typically only add a vignette to the bottom two corners um, I, I really don't ever add vignette sometimes I do but I really don't often add vignette to the top corners where the Sun is coming in um, but just depending on the picture you know this picture is tilted so it makes sense to kind of run a vignette on all of these uh, corners right here but just use a low opacity brush don't go in too crazy with a super high opacity um, just kind of keep it low and just slowly add on as you go and and that will give you a pretty you know um, realistic kind of look there if you were to go on with a super high opacity it would just look like a black streak going across your picture so um, let's see I want to add some Sun now I want to start off with soft Sun because that's your neutral colored Sun I've got several different kinds but soft Sun is kind of how it sounds it's just really nice and, and light and airy um, so I'm gonna drag it up to where I want it I'm gonna play around with it a little bit until I've got it exactly where I want it and I definitely want to adjust this opacity um, sometimes I you know pop the opacity all the way to a hundred because I really want a ton of Sun but in this case it doesn't look great when there's too much so um, you know you just have to play around with it every picture is different just play around with it until you're happy with the result but I, I want to try fun Sun um, maybe bring in a little bit of color fun Sun is very fun it's bright and orange and colorful and it's great for a lot of um, you know pictures but this one I really just wanna barely bring in some orange here just a little bit of warmth a little bit of color um, I'm just gonna kinda play with this a little bit until I'm happy with it and uh, let's see I want to kind of bring down um, the suns a little bit just kind of make it cover more area and let's see I'm gonna just play around see if I like any of these with this picture 
sometimes, you know, I'm not crazy about certain actions with certain pictures. Like I said, they're all different. You just have to play around with them until you're happy with what you have, you know. I have a pretty steady workflow, but I like to use actions, um, different actions for different pictures, even throughout the same session, um, you know, just depending on what I need. So I'm pretty happy with where I've got these suns. So here's a before those little vignette and sun edits. And there's the before, so you can see it's a big nice difference there. And this is really easy. I'm not having to do much. I don't have to know a lot. Just find what I want, press play, and, and tweak around with, you know, how dramatic or how subtle the action is going to be. Um, I do want to add some matte to this picture. I'm not sure which one's going to fit this picture best, so I am going to play around with a few and just kind of see what ones I like the most. Um, some of them are pretty um, uh, harsh. They're really dark and they give you a super dramatic feel. And some of them um, are very, um, you know, very light and airy. And, um, you know, the, the, it just totally depends on what your picture is. So I'm just kind of playing around here just to see. And, I, you know, sometimes I layer them on. I might, you know, use two or three different mats at low opacity to give me that perfect look that I want. Um, I, let's see... I kind of like a little bit of this, just not too much. Um, all right. Yeah, I just play around with it a whole lot until I am happy and satisfied with it. Okay, if you hear that in the background, that's my little boy. Hey. <laughs> Mom life. All right. Let's see. I know I'm like working on this forever but so what I'm doing is I'm just going to brush some of this matte off of her hair I love the deep matte and I love it being dark around the grass and in the shadows but it hid her hair so what I did because the mask layer was white I just used a black brush at a hundred percent opacity to totally get rid of the matte that was covering up her hair so anyway there you go that was it super easy didn't take too long and uh, you know you just play around with them um, if you guys are interested you can go to my website kelseyfreemanphotography.com and you can get yourself some actions they're super fun so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this little edit here okay bye guys